Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome to week 20, exactly, of my pregnancy and I honestly just cannot believe it. It has been 20 weeks already, like I'm halfway done. That's crazy to me, like that I'm halfway done. I just, wow. Okay, so um, <laughs> this week, um, symptoms, I honestly meant to write them down and I forgot, but I don't think there's been that many. Um, I've gotten itchy again, I know I've talked about that before, but it was mainly on my legs this time, like my lower legs and my calves, and it was super duper bad, and it's terrible. Um, my back is killing me, not when I sit down, because I can adjust in different positions more easily, but it's um, laying down. I cannot lay on my back whatsoever, it hurts so bad, and it's just, it's just terrible for me. <laughs> um... um I think that's it honestly as far as symptoms which is really weird or all that I can remember honestly just because I experienced them the other day um yeah so we'll say that's it for symptoms that's it um cravings this week <laughs> one of the most ridiculous cravings was McDonald's I wanted McDonald's um what is it called McChicken so 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 bad like it was ridiculous to the point where if I thought about it, I felt like I knew what it tasted like in my mouth. And then I finally get a chance to go to McDonald's and get what I wanted and I forget and get chicken nuggets. So <laughs> that was a kind of sad, sad attempt to be happy, but at least I got McDonald's so I felt better once I did that. Um, other cravings that I have is just fresh fruit. Any type of fresh fruit, I absolutely adore and I have been eating it like crazy everything like mandarin oranges um asian pears which are super duper yummy um strawberries I made a fruit salad a couple days ago that was amazing and oh I've also been <laughs> craving any type of drink that has carbonation in it just anything with carbonation so yeah strange strange cravings um um, honestly, this week has been more productive than others in the past, only because I am finally back in school. My semester has started, and I'm only taking two classes, so hopefully it won't be that bad, just an English and a math. Um, so I'm up really early every day, and like actually doing things, <laughs> whereas before I'd just be up early and just kind of relaxing. So yeah, now I'm up early, and I'm doing homework and stuff like that which is a weird adjustment to try to fall back into but fun at the same time so I'm glad I'm doing that now <laughs> and I had a doctor's appointment that I actually just came from which was super duper quick because apparently no one came for their appointments today so I like literally walked in which I was late <laughs> like always and they were like oh thank god you're here and I got in really quickly and got out really quickly um my doctor who's like the best doctor in the whole wide world honestly to me I wish I could have her for like every need ever um yeah she got me in talked to me I gained four pounds I believe so yay I finally got back to my pre-pregnancy weight <laughs> is where I'm at now um and then she gave me another ultrasound she kind of gives them to me all the time in a way just because well whenever she can get the room She'll usually try to and give me pictures just because she knows it's my first kid and um, my mom loves the pictures and my boyfriend's mom loves the pictures and when they come she'll give them pictures which is really awesome and super sweet of her. So I got more pictures and it's only two of them. She was trying to tell me if it was a girl again just to kind of like reaffirm that it is but of course the baby was being stubborn like always. So she couldn't see and the baby's like breached in a way because it's like face down and it has its foot blocking everything so you can't see anything but she said there's nothing dangling so <laughs> I guess it's confirmation yet again that it's a girl. Um, so I'll show you the picture. That's the top one with her little body and everything. And and the bottom one is um, just showing the heartbeat. That's why it looks so tiny. So 
so you can see it in a heartbeat at that point was um, 142 beats per minute which is good especially the baby's looking good and all that and it was great the only thing I didn't like about before my appointment um, was at my doctor's office it's a lot of older women that go there kind of well I go to Kaiser's so it's a lot of older people that go there and I just felt like everyone was kind of like giving me a dirty look <laughs> and it bugged me and kind of put me in a bad mood because I am that type of person where if people give me dirty looks where I'm just going to think, oh stop, I'll, I'm like, what are you staring at me for type of person? <laughs> and I couldn't say anything because I was trying to like be nice and be excited to get pictures of my baby and everything, but I definitely gave him a dirty look back because you have no need to be judgmental to me whatsoever like I you don't know how old I am or what I'm doing in life I could be more successful than you currently are and you're older than me you just don't know so I definitely don't like that especially this one guy which really bugged me I mean I expect it from girls I think more and I'm okay with it because especially at a doctor's office because I feel a lot of women look at my stomach and then look at me trying to figure out like how old I am and how far along I am whereas guys look at me and they're like what the hell you're young and you're having a baby and this guy, he was like sitting with his kid and um, she like dropped something. So he goes to pick it up and I'm walking over to the box to drop my paperwork off to get my name called. And he like picks up the thing and like looks at my stomach and then like looks at me and then gives me this really just dirty look like he was so disgusted with me. And I'm like, what the f like we're here for this. It was just really weird to me. Like just because you're a few years older than me, like 20, 25 years older than me doesn't mean anything at all like age does not define how good of a parent you are or if you are ready to parent whatsoever so that just really bugged me and I really wanted to sit there and lecture him but I just gave him a dirty look back and went and sat down <laughs> so that was all I could do even though it really super duper annoyed me um so yeah that's it for this week and updates um I will show you guys my stomach and measure it because I finally found my tape measure I know I didn't do that last week or a couple weeks I don't know I don't know pregnancy brain um so I'll do that for you guys now and that shall be it I think hopefully if I don't think of other things to rant on and on about Okay, so it's like right at 32 and a half. I was bent. I don't know if you guys can see it. So yeah, um, that's it as far as this week. I honestly feel like my stomach hasn't gotten any bigger and it's just growing so slowly, but I'm constantly being told that I look tiny for, um, how far along I am, which I probably do. <laughs> it just gets annoying. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully, um, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> I just need to end this video. Um, I, I'm just going to end it here. So, this is it for the video, week 20. Um, hopefully, you guys join me for week 21 and other videos that I plan to make, like my baby haul and other just fun stuff. Um, so let me know if you have any questions or comments or anything. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like my Facebook page as well. And that's it. Bye, guys.